Hello to the webinar Twinkat 3.1 Build 4026 about the package management. I would like to introduce the componentization of Twinkat 3.1 4026 today and provide you with some information about the capabilities which are open then for you as customers. Okay, before we start with the content of the webinar, um, please, if you have any questions regarding the uh, package management um, and my uh, talk in the next minutes, uh, please feel free to use the comments and the questions section in the GoTo um, meeting application. We will answer them at the end, or if it's uh, too many questions, then we will uh, answer them afterwards uh, as emails um, to you. Um, okay, then let's start. Twinket package management, the installation from 4026. Um, if we recap the installation procedure for 4024 and also before uh, that, uh, we have three main downloads available on our homepage. That is the uh, ADS download, which is more or less the smallest one, which is for um, for separated device, devices uh, who want to communicate with a runtime system, for example. Then we have the runtime download, the XRR download, and we have the full download, which includes also the engineering, but also the runtime. Additionally, we have Twinket functions available. Some of them have uh, separated downloads, which you need to acquire from our homepage. On the right hand side, we see that um, for, for the full download, we have the 1.4 gigabytes currently um, when you're downloading them. So it's quite not the smallest download we find. And we have split that up into approximately 300 packages. Uh, we will have a more detailed look in the next slides about that. Um, and this is what we, what one of our main, of our main efforts uh, for Twinket 3.1 build 4026 was. Uh, so we have a small package manager which you could download. It might become something like 10 megabytes, and that builds the entry points to all Twinket products, to the complete Twinket world. Um, the package manager will contain a command line tool, so it's easy scriptable for you if you would like to have automated uh, installation procedures, uh, but it also will contain a UI for the ease of um, usage here. Um, the access then is uh, done via an online access uh, via your MyBackoff account. So if you don't have a MyBackoff account yet, then uh, please create one and um, that is required for accessing later on the packages. Let's have a more detailed look on this. Why we have um, worked so hard on the package management. I try to summarize it here as one slide uh, because we want to spend a lot of time on the on the technical details as usual with our webinars. Upgrades need to be faster, smarter and easier and even more reliable. Uh, in the current uh, world, let's say. So we would like to be able to provide new features faster. So whenever we have changed one component, we would like to add a small package to the complete Twinkert world. And that could be then used by you directly without waiting for a big Twinkert full download uh, these days with 4024. So we are more agile. We are smarter. A package could be upgraded independent. That means that whenever we we um, we change something in the package, we could provide that to you. You could independently of other packages update this one package. Um, if there are um, dependencies on that package, automatically those will be resolved. So we have a consistent system on your side without any hassle. We have one tool that is the package manager itself to maintain those updates. We will compare the 4024 and 20, uh, 4026 
uh, workflows on your side later on. And another very important point is that we are getting feedback um, in an easier way until um, it was these days. So we are providing you with test versions of packages with the latest changes for early adapters and collect feedback there on a very early stage. Let's have a bit more uh, look on the on the basic, on the foundation of this package management. First, we have packages. Those are here. We have a naming schema. It's twinket dot something. Twinket dot xae, for example, is for the engineering side. Twinket dot xar is for the runtime side. And then there is something, for example, like the base or uh, CPP support for adding uh, engineering CPP support on your engineering station. We also have the real time, which is uh, installable on the runtime side. We have an integration package, which is about the Visual Studio integration of Twinket XAE. But we also have the PLC libraries in different packages, so we could easily uh, upgrade them one by one without upgrading all of those PLC libraries. So for example, here we have the xae.plc.library.tc2 mask, which is usable for you within your Twinket project. Of course, we have other projects also in front, uh, next to the runtime and the engineering packages. There are, for example, HMI packages. And here we have the hmi.scope, for example, but the HMI um, world consists of course uh, um, out of a couple of packages on its own okay so overall on my test system i currently find 382 packages uh, currently some of them are of course uh, versions so um, it's not all of them are different uh, packages but um, quite of, a few of them are packages so overall there might be 300 packages you might find uh, once uh, the 4026 is released. Um, next to the packages, there are workloads, you're calling them. So you shouldn't really deal with the different packages we are providing. It should just bring you a, a small a glimpse, let's say, to why we have done that and what are the benefits out of it. Um, in your daily work, you will work with workloads. Workloads is, for example, Twinket standard XAR or Twinket standard or TE2000 HMI. Those are collections of packages and they are provided by Backoff to you and you could comparable for the uh, Twinket uh, pull or Twinket uh, ADS functions. There are corresponding workloads and you could simply by one click or one command install the complete um, collection of packages to your system. So overall, as an, as an idea, let's say we have one workload per product, but we will have a small look into this uh, on the next slides. First, we have dependencies between these products. Um, the PLC might require a system manager, for example, on the engineering side, and the system manager might uh, depend on something which is called XAE base, um, which is providing a couple of very base foundational components. Um, so we have dependencies between them. They are directly within the packages, so you don't have to deal with it, but you could easily look it up. Um, all of these um, packages we are collecting then to a meaningful or recommended um, collection workload which is then called Twinket XAE standard and we have for the runtime side such a workflow uh, available and we could of course combine them uh, and call them Twinket standard and this is then really comparable to the full setup we have currently available on our homepage. So this is the basic idea of the workloads and the non basic uh, idea is uh, drawn here. Uh, of course, currently from our homepage, you are downloading a full version 4024.44 currently, for example. Um, 
and we have workloads also with this versions included we call them workload releases then they include version informations for all their packages so we could call something like a trinket standard 4026.3 and all information inside is of consistent testing version of trinket so we have uh, tested this combination of packages on our test uh, department and then could could bring this information as a workload release to you available via the Twinket package manager. Um, provide that to you is a good question. So how are the packages provided to you? Via feeds or repositories, we could call them. And we are providing two feeds from the beginning. The stable feed, which is provided to you with the workload releases, or the packages which are then uh, referenced in workload releases for providing you the stable tested versions comparable to the 4024 world when you're doing separated downloads but we also provide another feed which could easily be enabled or disabled for pioneer users we are calling them so if you are in discussion with Beckhoff or you would like to test something then we are providing the testing as, as beta uh, packages and you could easily install them on your system and have a look on the latest changes and adoptions in development we have done at Beckhoff here. Well, and then one of the great features of the package manager is that you could have your own feeds, not on the Beckhoff servers, but on your own server. You might want to have a, a own collection, an own workload own combination of versions you are preferring to have so you are uh, um, you have the possibility to uh, provide own feeds in your intranet that could be used for example to provide a known custom library a own plc library in a version um, on your feed to your in-house development uh, team of course for making use of that you need to download. So the first feed stable and testing is provided via um, our homepage. Um, and you are uh, requiring um, uh, my backup account for accessing them. Then you could easily download those packages, uh, add them to your local self-hosted in-house NuGet server. So it's um, Twinket package management simply makes use of NuGet servers on the server side and you could um, add your own libraries there uh, together with the Twinket or the Beckhoff provider Twinket packages. You could even uh, define own workloads and maybe a machine generation um, is then referring to a specific workload release which you have fixed for your self-hosted Google server. This is the basic idea and one of the larger uh, benefits on your side when dealing with the Twinket package manager. The last technical point I would like to highlight is the reporting capabilities we are getting from the Twinket package management. So whenever you are installing a workload or a workload release, in the end, there are packages installed and those packages are having always a version. We have an installation log and we have of course a list the Twinket package management could you provide you at any time with a list of locally installed packages and providing those information to either the back of support or for talking internally i have installed these packages with these versions and i would like to discuss a specific behavior of this combination it's very easy to gather those information and to provide those information in any way you would like to because these are only text files nothing is binary you could directly look inside everything is available as a simple command line um, if you would like to script that um, so these reporting capabilities are really one other big big advantage of the Twinket package okay so we are now try to well something like summarize um, the comparison um, let's compare the workflows from 4024 
on your side to the Twinket package management. Currently, you are downloading something like a Twinket setup, maybe a couple of them. Um, then you're installing them, and then you manually need, need to check for those updates. So either on the start page of the uh, engineering environment or the RSS feed, which is back behind the start page, the updates which are presented there, or via the MyBackoff um, uh, capabilities of our website, where you also see what you have downloaded and if there are any updates available. Well, and that you have to do cyclically forever, let's say. With the Twinket package management, um, you just install the small installer, the 10 megabytes I've um, uh, estimated, and install it once. The Twinket package management is uh, capable of upgrading itself, so you never ever have to download uh, the package management uh, manager again. Um, and then you are simply installing um, the latest available workloads. For example, Twinket standard 4026.3. You're installing them. Uh, Twinket package management will check from that point on for updates and present them to you. And you only have one click for downloading and installing them locally on your system. Not too much of a difference. I think it is a large difference and a large difference in a new technology. Um, it's common from uh, some Unix systems, um, from the Twinket BSD system to have such a package management. And that was the reason for Backoff again to adopt from the IT world to the OT world for providing you with these um, agile workflow together with us for easier getting the different uh, packages and different versions. So let's have a small summary here. Packages. Packages are components of Twinkat. We will have 300 of them approximately, and those will have versions and dependencies. You don't will have to deal with packages itself. You will work mainly on workloads, either workloads, which are a collection of packages, or on workload releases, which have Additionally, to the collection of, work, uh, of packages, a version attached. Those packages and workload information are provided by a testing or stable feed. Uh, whatever you are choosing from, um, those packages will be installed on your system. We have an easy reporting capability via the package list and the installation logs, either to the support or for your internal dis discussions. There, it's very easy to just get all the information from your system to replicate them. Um, and you could have own feeds on own servers internally in your department for spreading uh, your own packages and, or, and your own workloads as you would like to have them. For example, this machine generation X, which could be used as one use case for having them on the same versions even if on the feeds are different versions available. So the Twinket package management deals with upgrades and faster, smarter, easier upgrades and also even more reliable. Thank you. And now to your questions.